Ah, that was weird. The many quirks of Twitch. Anyway, um, for everybody who's probably watching this on the YouTube VOD uh, version, uh, hello. Uh, just uh, launching this a bit earlier while we wait for Frunazuka to get in. I'm assuming. Hold on, let me let me check the sound and everything to make sure the microphone's coming through fine. Yeah, that seems to be all fine and dandy. It's kind of rare that I do that oh, normally, but every now and then it's good to check. So, oh, let's get this headset back on. So, yeah, um, I'll do the pitch. So, we have uh, a unit in War Thunder. We call it the Can We Not. It's a little uh, in-joke between us about... Um, something Gooby used to say on the streams for years ago, Can We Not, uh, when, when he thought jokes were going too far. Uh, so that's what we named the squadron, and then uh, we've got a few people in it, but obviously, you know, we're not like a serious unit. So if you want to take part in playing some War Thunder, and you want to earn some of these squadron vehicles, which, uh, for example, uh, the US lineup, they're, they're the ones on the right, they have the green thing, you can start researching them at any time. But the more players in the squadron who are just playing the game generally, the more points you earn during the session and it benefits everybody in the squadron so if you want to hop in and join uh, just uh, send an application uh, we don't mind uh, obviously general rules is try not to be an arsehole um, when when you're in matches and, and the like and uh, yeah just just have fun and uh, you know if uh, if you see uh, me in front online or whatever just you know might be able to jump in with you uh, should you uh, should you get the the burning desire to? But uh, yes, still waiting for front actually. I have let him know that we're on TS. But so what we're going to do uh, this session? We're going to run the system. Uh, now you may ask. Yes, Yobo. Hello. Um. So the system is a thing I created a while back for War Thunder. It just makes playing it a little less monotonous because a game like this is very grindy, obviously. So what happens is uh, you pick a nation to start with, and you play. And you keep playing until you lose. And then you switch to the nation that last killed you. And you go from there. But for this stream today, uh, at, at this rate, it's just going to be me. Uh, but it's going to be me and Fron, and what we're going to do is play, start with tanks, and then we're going to switch to aircraft, and switch to the nation that killed us last in aircraft instead. And then when we get killed, if we keep winning in aircraft, we stay in the aircraft. And if we get killed and lose uh, that round, then we then switch over back to tanks to the nation that killed us in the aircraft. And we're just going to do that. It's a little bit, a little bit of a switch up. Channel? Oh, hey, Fron. How are you Hello. doing? Hello. I was just explaining to uh, to Twitch and everybody about um, what we're going to be running today. And, and I've done the pitch for the squadron as well. You already started. It's not even 11. I know. I just I just sort of check because I, you know I had those like funky issues, so I wanted to make sure everything was working all right. And it appears to be working. Hello, ETG. How are you this week? Also, how are you this week, Yobbo? I'm an equal opportunity asker of how you are. Uh, PC. Hello. Hey, in a man. Are the national accents <laughs> with whilst playing optional? Um. No, they're heavily enforced, no man. They're, they're heavily enforced. Totty, I didn't know you were there, Totty. No first. <laughs> You're alive, ETG, okay. Yeah, it's good to hear, good to hear, Yobber. No, uh, no man, you have to put on the uh, the, the most um, stereotyped uh, South African accent in your case, so, you know, you have to, you have to see, you can't say cat food, you have to say kid food all the time, you know. What's this about? Oh, so Naman asked, are the national accents whilst playing War Thunder uh, optional? And I said, no, they have to be brutally enforced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I clicked the wrong button. Oh, oh shit, it happens the, all the time. the fucking group lead. I don't know how this happened. Oh, nice, nice, Yobbo. Well, you got your tanks on on arrival, nice. No, Totti, you can't always be first. That's not necessarily a good thing. you got to think about your partner. Hey, Shano, how are you doing? Put that well-earned XP in my, uh, my leopard. Oh, yeah, you're, you're trying to unlock the, uh, the Polish leopard? 
Yes. The 2PL, yeah. Then I have all the leopards until they add new ones. Until they add more, yeah. Were you first? I think you were, Yabo. I think you were the first person to start uh, typing. I asked Kiro to set up the um, the uh, ancient Terran war machine simulator. What was a burn? What was a burn, uh, ETG? Hey, cool show you doing. Yep, Yobo, you've you've got excellent timing on that one. <laughs> You're the first <laughs> first in the chat and it was not for a battle text stream. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm waiting for deliveries today as well. I'm waiting for some uh, crisis protocol uh, figures to uh, arrive. Like Spider Man and Black Cat and Mysterio and Carnage and Craven the Hunter and the Lizard. The problem is I've got a headset on, so it makes it a little difficult to hear the door. It will be fine. Uh, like, uh, come on, blinds. No, you're blind. There we go. If I have the blinds open and, and the postie turns up, he can at least look through the window and see me. With my terrifying visage. It looks through the window. Ah! <laughs> Also myself, because it was a self-burn. All I do is self-burn. Right, um... So, did you want to start with, like, ground realistic, or just start with a sim battle? Uh, well, let's see what sim battles are available. I thought they were all available. Well, they're normally between certain BRs. Ah, uh, uh -huh. Oh, there is one at uh, quite a high BR. What BR is quite a high BR? Um, it's between the AMX-13 HOT and uh, Leopard 2A5s. I d just give me the fucking number. I think it's 83 to 107. 83 to 107. Okay. Um, Sorry, 110. 110. So are you gonna are you gonna go with Japan for that? Are you gonna go with, like Germany? Uh, probably. Um, it's everyone versus the uh, communist. Uh, Combined forces. Okay, so I'm not picking Russia then. <laughs> Between eight three and and eleven hour. Okay. Um, if you open the events and tournament tab, the bottom ground simulator battles should show where tanks are available. Well, I think that one. <laughs> right, let's see one. Uh, okay, my my Shaturm and all that is is fine. What, what about my French line? I oh, know. Alright, French, AMX-13, DCA, Mount Leclerc. Do you, you only get one vehicle for these, don't you? Uh, three spawns in total, I think. Well, it depends. You have uh, a thousand spawn points. Yeah. And that's what you have to do. So everything is a fixed num a number of spawn points, so you basically have to spend them however the fuck you want. Where's, where's the slot for my... Oh, of course it would be my AMX-30 DCA slot. I'm not spending 290,000 fucking, like, geagles, or sorry, it's not geagles, silver lions on that shit. Uh, that's the battle pass, don't click that. Uh, what about my, uh, oh. alright, Italy, I'm taking, <laughs> take Italy. <laughs> I've got, I've got 9.0, a 10.3, uh, an 8.7, alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. This is going to take forever to find this match. Could be. Hey, Devin, how you doing? Sorry, uh, we've been fannying around with trying to get this sim battle thing. So, so we can die horribly by being shot by teammates. <laughs> Probably get shot by teammates, yeah. Rock is going to be shot in the Centauro from someone who think it was an American vehicle. I just want to unlock the Gildardo. Or the Vicolo Corazato di, com uh, di Combattimento Dado. Bless you. <laughs> Vicolo Corazato di Combattimento Dado. Or the, uh, the Light Combat Vehicle Dado. Oh, there you Ooh! Ooh! The Dildo. No, Colts. No, bad. Bad boy. 
<laughs> Do I take the Verac Rad? The Verac Rad. Shit, I only have two vehicles from Pray for Mojo. Uh, you can spawn them multiple times. I'm fine, Frun, don't worry about me. Don't pray for Mojo. I'll take the G91. I'll, I'll just shut down the sky and see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Oh god, yeah, you're stuck in the commander's view. I remember this now. Is that you in the Verac Rad? Yes. Hello. Keeping my fingers away from the fire buttons, just in case. Whoa, shit. Are we already... Are we already kicking off with the missiles? Well, another of Iraq rat killed him. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh! Ooh. That was close. Pray for Mojo. Pray for Mojo. There's another helicopter, the helicopter spawn, which I can see from here. I can see the tower on the airfield. <laughs> oh god. How am I supposed to identify friendlies? I can't even remember who's on my team, right? Anything that doesn't look Russian is friendly, okay. What's this? In good news, the Operation Lancaster event article is finally in a condition that I'm feeling truly confident. And it, my father, who happens to be a hell of an editor, did me the favor of giving me a look-see. A lot of stuff needed fixing, but yeah, finally feeling confident. Oh, that's great to hear, Devin. It's really great to hear. It's been a long road for you, uh, Operation Lancaster, but honestly, I think the book is going to be really, really good when it's complete. And uh, as soon as you're ready to kind of let people, the general sort of um, like public, to have a look at it, uh, don't worry, I'll I'll link it everything uh, for people. Uh, oh shit! Run! I think someone just fired a missile at me. Could be. I need a dual dardo. Super creature! Hey yo! Um, remember the Satoru's <laughs> problem that it can't get up hills? It, is that what the Verat Rad is currently suffering? Yes. <laughs> I don't have the engine upgrade. <laughs> I'm like, I just look over here to my left, there's like two friendlies climbing rocks. Well, the leopards probably. Oh, well, one of them is a, is a Wally. Oh, uh, there the, the was a KA-50. Hey, the other Verat, Verat Rad has already shot down several uh, KA-50s. <laughs> You've been creating a Scottish uprising that 1980s Royal Marines had to quell on armor. <laughs> okay, gods. That sounds crazy, but fun. How's this going? Well, it's the first match, Super Creature. It's the first match. Probably badly. I'm not the best player at War Thunder. I've mostly gotten to this stage where I am now through grind and being carried by Frum. Or the enemy team not being too good either. Well, that's that, well. that's a that's a rarity. That is a rarity, yeah. Ah. 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 I'm dead. On my way. No. My ice cream bus is on the way. No, I'm dead. <laughs> TATU on that main road. He's driving up toward my corpse. Attention to the map. Well, I'm I'm in a I'm in an auto now. Uh, I think there's a jet coming in. It's 10 kilometers out. Attention to the map. I see something in a distance, but when I zoom in, it's not there. It's not there. Uh, no, there's a, there's a jet. I'm looking at it. Oh, there you go. I have no idea if it's a friendly or an enemy jet. It's coming from their side of the spawn, so I'm guessing it's enemy. So. Uh, doesn't the Centaur have a uh, friendly identifier? Well, the Oto. Yeah. You know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. I think I think double lines are friendlies. I don't think this is friendly then. I just got killed by a uh, Dushka. You are in a truck. I mean, my ice creams. How, how <laughs> I'm gonna keep them cool? The ice cream truck. <laughs> if only it played music. Is that friendly? No, well, the um, the T80 is on that hill you're looking at. Well, I hope the leopard up there can do me a solid and kill it, because uh, I can see a jet coming in.
Oh! I hit him! He's down! Is that you driving off? Yes. Okay. Oh. I had another. I had another lock on them. You seem to do better if you're not with a buddy sewer creature. Um. I, I. Yeah. You know what? I know what you mean. Um. Sometimes that that can be a, a slight issue. Yeah. But I think it's also more fun with a friend. <laughs> I didn't even aim, I just fired in a direction. <laughs> uh, oh, we had a friendly fire. A Chinese vehicle took out a, a chrysanthemum. We are losing. We are losing. Because oh, that one really looks like a different vehicle, doesn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, the chrysanthemum looks like so many other Russian vehicles in the game, it's crazy. That jet's just being smart, not coming anywhere near my gun with its airburst munitions. Ah, oh, the battery ran out. No more thermal. Wait, thermal as a battery? When the battery is empty, you, uh, your thermal goes off. Oh yeah, you're still repairing, aren't you? I'm just curious, because I think the Leopard 2 5 has a uh, APU, doesn't it? I don't fucking know. Most of my, most of my knowledge is World War II vehicles. I know, I know you're a MIG, because you got a weird-looking nose. Wow. Uh-oh. The drum's empty. Come on, Heinz, reload. Come on, Giuseppe. You were born for this. I love that one. Hey, Reverend Christian, how are you doing? Attention to the designated grid square! Oh. Oh, yes, most definitely a, uh. a Miggly Mig. Oh, he's flying over by the airfield. Uh, he's, that's not gonna go well for him. He's gonna get hit by a SAM uh, missile. That's a Yak 38. Sorry, that's not a MiG. Yeah, that's a Yak 38. Fuck is coming in. Die, Troom's T. He's fired a missile. I got him. Why is he firing the missile? I don't know. Boom, bitch. Oh, I think he fired the missile as laser guided. So if he turns the plane, the missile goes somewhere else. Yeah, well, in this case, he went into the floor, because it died. <laughs> what the fuck? I saw that happen. It was fucking hilarious. What happened to that MiG? The Type 93. The, um, the definitely not Toyota. Yeah. I just saw a missile just pop up from the ground, went straight into the plane and killed him. Hey, Tom Falk, how are you doing? Toot, uh, turbo done. What, what, do you, what, what do I play on? Um, I mean, I'm playing on PC. Right, that's a friendly jet. We, we can tell it's a friendly jet. Mainly because it isn't shooting me. Ha you know, I think we're doing alright on the kill side, but we're doing shit on the whole objective side of things. Well, I can't hit that fucking T-series tank in a distance there. Well, I don't think he can hit you, though. Ow! Oh god, I'm on fire! Oh no, Mario's dead. Oh! I've been hit again! Oh, he's on the corner ahead of me. <coughs> oh well, we kill each other. I pop smoke from, that usually confuses them, right? Oh! Uh, yeah. I'm on fire again! Giuseppe's wounded! The enemy is winning. Oh! I keep getting hit front! I'm dead. Front! 
Oh, he, he keeps shooting me front. I've got no, I've got no way, way to return fire. How did he kill you yet? Oh, I don't know. It's so painful. Every shot, every moment I live is agony. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's on the fucking hill. Well, another there's guy one, who killed me. There's one, no, there's one at spawn, so if you spawn, they'll shoot you instantly. I'm out of vehicles anyway. Uh, you, you lied. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get three spawns. Well, then they changed it. Yeah, they must have done. Well, I'm out of vehicles as well. Alright, well, we're in Russian aircraft. Woohoo! Surprise! Oh, de 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 it's one of those things of, stop, he's already dead. <laughs> It was, yeah. It was very much a case of, please stop hitting me, I'm already doomed. Alright, VVS, Russian Air Force. Uh, now, do you want to go to my BR for this, or do we want to go to your BR for this? Uh, well, my BR is, uh... Let's see... 8-3. Ah, well, interesting, because... The highest BR I can go in in aviation for the Russians is nine seven because I've got that Mig twenty one PFM. Well, if the if the Mig counts as well, then it'd be nine seven. Uh, well, if we're not counting that, my highest BR is five zero. <laughs> Let's just do yours. Okay, the Yak three P it is. The extremely understated bright red Soviet fighter craft. They'll never see it coming. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The, the auto ETG can take a phenomenal amount of punishment for no good reason. Both physically from rounds and from people telling you you're eight. Hmm. Was this it the a... first time you used that thing? You were, uh, what was it, an automatic faggot or something? Oh, when I used the auto, yeah, someone, someone like immediately called me. I think it was uh, faggot cancer. Someone said. Um. It's like, yes, yes, because you and your G91 with your fucking one-shot kill missiles are so balanced. I was, Tom Fox said earlier, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Laser-guided missiles need a camera that'll track the, that spot until it goes past the gimbal limits. Please tell me War Thunder doesn't do this. Uh, yeah, it does, it does. You, you, where you aim the plane will uh, guide the missile. The um, Mavericks are also in the game. So basically you lock it on the TV and then fire missile and then just fly off. Yeah. Uh, Sova also says, Love when the uh, bright red aircraft tries to run from me and sim. Sir, don't bother to run. I can literally see you from across the map against those trees. Oh god, I do not remember this map. Ah, good. Equipped with the uh, only 20mm cannons, which means if it's a Russian aircraft, I've probably got about 15 shots before I have to go back to the airfield. Well, make those 15 count. <laughs> I can't honestly can't remember how much ammo this thing has got. 380 it... rounds. I got 10 rounds more. I don't, I, what, why don't I have takeoff flaps? Russian. <laughs> it's Russian. <laughs> they don't believe in gun depression, they don't believe in takeoff laps. It's <laughs> <laughs> Soviet Russia, take off flaps you. <laughs> Cool looking plane though. Oh. Uh, AFK a sec, uh, post he's about to arrive. Well, you're in an air realistic so you can just AFK climb anyway. Oh, 
Well, that was the uh, completely useless PCIe card we bought. Oh, they could try the uh, a diff the different cable as well. Or they could just headset with cable. Well, the cable's part of the headset. Oh, you can't unplug it? No, it has like a split connector. That's no. all you can test. They're, they're kind of built into the headset and then you can, you can take them apart that way. It's not great. But we did prove that it, it works. I oh, saw the 84 dive into the rice field. Yeah, I saw that as well. Because uh, I... Um, I played uh, a little bit of Demio on it yesterday, and then I closed out of the VR thing and then went back in and it worked fine. Trying to go for this B-17? Probably gonna be a big mistake for the uh, defense to that. Oh shit. Uh, do you want to break off from that then? Oh, we must bonsai. <laughs> but we're not the Japanese aircraft. There's a P 38 oh. high above us, though. Ah, we'll be fine. Uh, okay. I was expecting to be a pilot sniper at that point. Well, he's, he's banking. Attacking. Yes! I hit the Freedom Maker. What a critical hit. Same. Alright, alright, let's break off. I think we hit him enough. My fuel's leaking. Uh, I can guide you back to the airfield if you want. I didn't know B-17s were very 20 mil resistant. Apparently they are. I do like the new sounds of the cannons on this, so they sounded brutal. Hey, Shadow Legend, how you doing? Oh, my fuel leak stopped. What the fuck? Do you want to continue back to the airfield? Yeah, I might as well. Alright. I lost about five minutes of fuel. How's our team looking? Oh, most of our guys are dead, I think. Why does it sound like my engine is struggling? It hasn't been hit. The engine on the thing sounds very meaty. Yeah, this this is powerful fucking engine, yeah. Nope, nope, rumble. No, I, of course I don't have air brakes, that would be normal. Slow down the plane by wiggling in the air. Like every pilot did. <laughs> Flaps down for landing. <laughs> Panic. Land the plane. Okay, just leaf on the wind. There we go. Just oh, mind out those. Bang! Oh Christ, that scared me. And break. Break. Oh, I noticed it. Ah. Hi, from. Hello. Need cover. On me. Oh, I made I made a drift, but I lost <laughs> the, the, the till gear. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy is oh, what the fuck is going on with that fucker? <laughs> Did he land as well? Did he badly take off? Um, he pulled, I think, what you did. As a landing? <laughs> yes. I think so. Or is it count? I think it counted as, as crashed. Okay. okay. It's not like I've got a seal in the engine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 oh.
Something tells me from we're not going to have a good time. Do we ever in area you listening? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, don't worry, uh, Devin, you can't uh, crash into uh, planes when you're in the airfield and they're taking off. I'll see you, Yobbo. Are we leaving already, are we? Did Russia have self sealing fuel tanks from World War II? I think they did, yeah. It was on later aircraft, though. If only the Japanese planes had it in this game. And trust me, in this game, the American planes do have still selling fuel tanks, but you won't know it, because as soon as they catch fire, they never go out. It's fucking annoying. Well, there's uh, a Junkers, a Focker Wolf, and me and you. Against four of them. Oh, well, they traded there. Yeah, they did. That's uh, AI Focker Wolf 190, so ignore him. Although, saying that, if Davros was with us, he'd be like, I'm just going to go take this out, you know, no, stay with us. <laughs> and he just look behind you. Oh, where the fuck is he? <clears throat> I'm going to go straight from ground targets. No, Davros, bad. <laughs> A7M's coming in direct. I know he's diving on ground targets. Oh, he's going up again. Yeah, I think he's diving to speed. I'm gonna have a burst, and if I survive, I'll break hard right. Nice! Burning quite well. Good, I'm glad. Apparently I damaged his fuel tank. Oh, something fell off. Got him! I don't know about the P-38 above though. Don't know if he's diving down. P-38 staying high up. It's his best option. <laughs> he can't win a turn fight against either of our planes. Oh, okay. What do you want to do then? He's diving. Oh shit. He's diving. Show me meet him in the sky. Two of them left. Yeah, the problem is, uh, I think he's got, he's definitely got a speed advantage on us. Oh, well, he's got two engines. Yeah, but I think two engines. going for the Junkers. Oh, is he? Right, okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't really gain altitude that fast. Good question is, where the fuck is the other player? That is indeed a good question. What gods did you make a sacrifice to? I was just complaining that the Japanese aircraft never stay on fire. <laughs> just got lucky, I guess. Oh, there he is, A7M. Oh, yeah, see him. Takeshi Shogun. P-38's climbing to dive down, I think. How about two clicks from you? A7M is burning in close to you. 
Yeah, he's turning to chase. He's firing. I'm getting closer. I'm trying to chase. Uh, blacking out. I got a crate on the A7. P38 is down here with us. I noticed. Uh, come on, I've kissed my lucky Stalin medal. Got him. A7's down. Well, the hit on the P38. He's, oh, he he's dead. He's dead. Woo! He jayed out. Oh, did he? Oh, we did it! We fucking did it! Fucking hell! I didn't think I would survive the encounter with the A7M, to be honest. <laughs> and he started hitting me. Ah, oh, that was a, a very unexpected result. Holy shit. I think the best match we ever had so far. Wow. That thing is... Oh, by the way, that plane is virtually stock. I only had the fuselage repair on lot. I've just got the radiator. Uh, I've just got the 20mm belt as well as the compressor. Uh, about halfway through the airframe now, so the plane actually has more horsepower and can go faster and climb quicker. And now I've got more uh, different uh, belt options available for it. Yeah, I got the engine and the offensive 20. <coughs> yes! Uh, drink. Still planes or t uh, tanks again? No, we're still planes. We won. We have to wait till we get killed and then we switch over to tanks. This is where we just win every time, we're killing everyone. <laughs> we just, I just grind through a big chunk of the Russian trees of it. Like, how the fuck did this happen? To be fair, that A7 at the end, he gave me so many easy shots. Because he, he lost so much speed trying to turn over to chase you. I was kind of surprised he didn't catch, uh, keep up with me that much, because I know A7Ms can turn really well. Well, it's just that there was a, hey, it's not like either of you would complain if things went that well. <laughs> it's more shocked. It's more shocked. Alright, um... I'm universal, I guess? I'm not gonna be, I'm not really going for ground striking, so... And we dinged up that B-17, but I don't know who killed it. As difficult as it is, though, the aircraft in this game and, and playing the flight mode is very nice. Yes. It's the one thing I do like about naval. The ships look amazing. Gameplay is a bit... Uh... Yeah. What's the time? So something was just pointed out to me. I can no longer tell people to go fuck themselves once in... Uh, once I'm no longer wearing a mask. <laughs> 
I see this. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Uh, I think there's one already down by the deck. I can see the AA fire at it. Looks like a ground attacker. Alright, I just saw a bomb explode. Yeah, he's firing now. And he died. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, well then. I think. Got oh, Wyvern on the left. Oh shit, yeah, turning. <clears throat> he's fast, but he's not a turn fighter, is he? Uh, no, he loses a lot of speed when he turns. It's quite a heavy aircraft as well. Yeah, it's got good guns, I remember that. Good bomb payload as well. Yep. It's hard to see on the deck, but... Gotta get a bit closer. Alright, Fron, you take first shot, you're ahead of me. Watch out, some of a friendly is firing at him now. Nice hit. Alright, I'm breaking off. The other friendlies are chasing him. Oh, it's going down. Nice. Nice kill. What's this? Uh, this ain't Battletech CR. As for turning up at yours, uh, Boris says no till the 19th of next month. So I won't have to suffer for another month. Oh, I see. Oh, it's suffering, is it? It's suffering when you come around and um, have have fun with your friends. Oh, it's suffering when we make dinner for you. Oh, is that what it is? That what it is, Master 156. You make dinner for him? Yeah. We get dinner in for him. Wow. And he gets to play Battletech. You down, yeah, you're down right there, Devin. Yeah, cheeky cunt Pete. Yes, that's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, though, uh, Pete? You all right this week, mate? Oh, do you want to go for the A26 on the deck? Or do you want to stay high up? Well, the X3 below me is going for him. The F82 is diving down as well. I guess. I guess uh, that was who I was. Oh, okay, he's diving down because he hit the floor. So A26 <laughs> it is. I think guns are accurate to about one and a half clicks. I don't know what the Yak 3 was aiming for, but he's aiming to shoot you out of the sky, I think. Oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, I went too hard in on that hit tree. He's still firing his guns, though, be careful. He's not 100% dead yet. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. We're on board with the front. That friendly who's chasing is very dangerous for you as well, so... Oh, two friendlies firing on that P-51. The A-26 on the ground was trying to hit you. I don't remember Mustangs turning this well. It's probably because he's got a lot of speed because he dove down, but he's, he's bleeding that now. Lead a little bit more if you can. There you go. Nice. Nice kill. I, uh... I think a devil's... Uh, you cut his wing off. Oh, shit. Evade, 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 evade. You got a plane on your right. Alright, he flew over. He's been chased by two friendlies. He's on your, uh, 7 o'clock high. 
Nine o'clock high. He's turning. He is trying to. He is trying to get an angle on you. What? Evade. Ah, oh, fuck. Those rounds were nowhere near me. They. They weren't. No. Come on. Come on. Shoot the leak last time. S stop burning. Damn, those fire effects are pretty though. <laughs> no. You need that. You need that bit. Oh god. Oh, the fire went out. That's good. <laughs> There's no more fuel in the wing to burn, I guess. Ah. <laughs> uh, a quick look at the statistics. Mm, I don't know if our team would win or not. Two of their guys have got zero score, so I don't know whether they're just trolling or just went off really high up for a bombing run or something. But, save it... They went for a moon landing. Save it being very boring for everybody. We will go to American tanks now. As we were both... Um, technically, I was shot down by an A-20, but it was mainly my own fault. I hit a tree. <laughs> I got hit on him. I got the assist. It's just... Uh, yeah, I went a bit fucking crazy. That's from what I looked like. The Yak-3 behind you was trying to shoot you down instead of the fucking A-20. Uh, <laughs> I saw all the traces heading straight towards you. Let's not go 9 Let's not take the very balanced missile carrier. <laughs> oh, don't listen. Uh, Devin, don't listen to Mass 156. He's talking about anime, and I think at the time it was... Um, it was an... Oh, it was that Netflix one that was all about gambling. What was that called again? Was it like Kurotsune or something like that? Or... You know what I want to talk about, from? What was it about? Uh, it was a, a Japanese high school, but everything was determined through gambling of different types. Oh, fuck. You know the one I mean, though. I know which one you mean, but I don't know the name. Yeah, it began with a K. We were watching that, and Kuroinu? Like, Kuroinu, I think. No, was it? No, fuck it. No, it wasn't Kuroinu. That's a fucking porno, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Kuroinu's a hentai, I think. I know, I know you said that name something before, but I can't remember what it was. No, oh, Kuroinu's a hentai. <laughs> Pretty sure it's like Kuroinu. Kakegurui? Kakegurui, that's it. Well, it's not too far off from what I said. Oh, so yeah, 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 it's 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 fucking... It's so close from... Like, what's Kuroinu? Uh, a hentai <laughs> series about a guy who gets pissed off about what a bunch of hero female um, fantasy adventurers did to him. So he gets revenge by en enlisting an army of monsters to invade the realm and basically rape everything in sight. And the other one is about gambling in a high school. Yeah, same they're, thing. They're so similar. How do I know that, CR? Well, here's a fucking hint, Master of Six. Maybe, just maybe, I watched some Karoina at some point. I'm not fucking ashamed of it. Everyone's watched Hentai at some point. Yeah, he had to, because he was playing for an After Dark channel. Yeah, of course, yeah, you're right, of course it's a Japanese high school, because when it isn't it a higher Japanese high school, yeah. Kakaguru is good, though, it's a really fun anime. They made a live action adaptation of it, though, which I didn't really see the point of. Oh, Wicked City, that is a bizarre one, yeah. <laughs> Tom Fox says, huh, can't tell the two apart, honestly. <laughs> See? Well, I'm not parking over there because there's already two friendlies. Two XF1s sat in that area. And they appear to be giving each other the stink eye. I thought I had a thermal scope on this fucking thing. Come on, <laughs> Wally. Oh, I see what they're doing front. The two XM1s are, are moving their suspension up and down. <laughs> <laughs> <The flexing. laughs> what the fuck are they doing? I didn't know the XM1 had that ability. Apparently it does now. I'll just volley over this hill. Wally. What the fuck did it do to the engine on this thing? What the hell? It's so smooth and moving. It's so, it's so smoothy. Oh shit, I think there's another delivery. Hold on. How many things did you order?
Oh, jeez. Oh, fucking hell. Attention to the designated grid square. So, uh, I just discovered that our front door's been open all fucking night. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, last night it was raining, and, um, me and Paul stood outside just to cool down a bit. And Paul must have put the fucking snip on the door, you know, the, the thing that stops the, the bolt from coming out to keep the door mm -hmm. shut. Um, <laughs> and he didn't unclip it afterwards. <laughs> so that front door's just been sat close over, but not open the whole night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I wasn't robbed, no. Or the cats didn't get out. Also, and to be fair, the Japanese uh, hold high school in such high esteem because it's the last time in 95% of their citizenry lives when they had a sense of freedom from the slavery that is their society's work practices. Yeah, yeah that's, that is a stark, but uh, from what I can tell, a pretty close description of what it'll be like, yeah. There's some Toro or something over there somewhere. I think he just fired. Sort of in the direction of the burning wreck in the trees there. Where well, my missile's going. Okay. Oh, well, my uh, my guidance just decided to fuck off and reload. I did just see something over there. It just reversed, so... Oh. Oh, well, the helicopter got me. <clears throat> What, a scout? Ah! Mark 1. <laughs> yes. He's on our side somewhere. No. That, 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 that's not true. That's that's impossible. Please don't. I don't want to get shot by a helo. No. Well, the Leopard 1A5 made a silly mistake. A leopard making a mistake? No, nah. oh, it's not It's not Centauro. It's a Wama 301. Sword of Centauro. Chinese Centauro. Oh, there you go, you killed him. Short Chungus. Killed him with just pure lead. Isn't isn't Chungus a fucking um, pay money wubby thing that he created? I don't know. That's that's become like uh, adopted by a wider internet community. Oh, the. Uh, I was gonna say there was a jet, but he came in so fucking hard. If there was terrain deformation, he would have created a trench. <laughs> you could hide your tank in it. Uh, you could. I mean, the way he hit just hit the ground. The right, now is that one mass still around? I think it might be. What ma? One lunch! Everyone's doing it with their planes now. Just smacking into the ground. I also like the fact that everyone goes like, well, the AA is firing at me, so let me go straight towards them. Ah, uh, I hit him, but didn't do that much. Wounded some of his crew, which is sad. No. Well, luckily he was bad at dropping bombs. I don't know what the side M did, but he just cut the plane in four pieces. Ow! Oh, my barrel got blown up. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Someone died. Preparing. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what shot my barrel before. I'm assuming it might have been the leopard that was over there. It was napalm for a moment, yeah, but they've got some really nice effects on this game now. Is there one around that corner? Go on, side I'm canary for us.
That's just a dead Geppard. Geppard. He's a Geppard. <laughs> oh, that R3, like, he went, up on, he went on two wheels around that corner. That was funny. That was worrying. There was a rad kibble around there. Eh. Yep. Of course. Well, I mean, we are capping it. Ooh! Oh. What the fuck? That came in... Where uh, did it land? Uh, kind of behind you. I didn't even see anything. Uh, I just saw the missile come in, that's all I saw. It's dead now, though. Oh, no, no, God, there's more of them. Oh, fucking hell. Ah! Oh, Jesus, there's so many G91s all of a sudden. They're fucking everywhere. They breed. He just had to look at H RAF Luton, and people are fucking idiots, so they think we call our ships HMS Warboat and Sinky Sanky and Sunky. <laughs> you mean we don't call sh Oh, everything I thought I knew was all a lie. I do love this AA though. Keep it up, sailor, and victory will be ours. That AV8 just fired an air-to-air -air missile. Yes. Oh wow. <laughs> Whatever the plane is, it's very well camouflaged against the air. <laughs> Front sacrificed his body to save me and a sneaky German butt fucks. <laughs> sneaky German butt fucking must have been muffin. I know he's always <laughs> lurking. He's always hiding there. He's always hiding. The jets are non-existent. I got shot down by our jets. Yeah, this makes my choice of vehicle somewhat pointless. It's a tiger! It's a tiger. A tiger. Tiger. It's a tiger. I'm very confused. We have we have an Italian G91, but there's enemy G91s. It's oh. a G91 off. There was a there's a Jeopard at Charlie as well. <laughs> it's a tiger for act mating call. <laughs> Just a more will be ours. Uh, uh, oh shit! Oh fuck! There's someone trying to kill me over here. It's a big light. It's a big light. This is a big light. This is a big light punch. Like playing Dragon Stockman. Look out of here. Fuck you! <laughs> if anyone ever played da uh, Dragon Stockman, uh, if you did, yeah, I assume you got one of those other players, um, sort of. I forget what they're called now, those. Uh, weird, like, meta-human things that would follow you as party members. Uh, someone would change the voice slider so they're either super high-pitched or super low-pitched. Like, Gablon! Look out, Arisen! I was like, look out, Arisen! It's a goblin! <laughs> oh! Rad kibble. On the road where I died. No. Oh. He's coming up to the crossroads, there. And that's not Cody Road.
Just before Coulter's ears prick up, I know they're gonna. It's gonna be there like crossroads. Oh, I see him. Kill him. I can't. There's 16 wrecks in the way. I don't care how many dinosaurs are there. Damn it! Oh, Just get I'm the result. Up, I'm sneaking up on him. <coughs> I was gonna mini gun him in the back. This box doesn't seem big enough to contain all of my Marvel Crisis Protocol. <laughs> oh shit! Nearly dropped it. Punch, punch a hole through the box. <laughs> punch myself. <laughs> Oh no, no, I got them all. Hey! Oh, fucking cool. It's time for your friendly neighborhood carnage, man! I'm gonna put them together tonight, it's gonna be fun. And I'll paint them in about six years. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like painting the miniatures. I've nearly got Hulk done to the point where I'm happy with him. And then I'm gonna move on to Captain America, but I can never bring myself to paint them. I still have got several tank models, ship models, and everything. I've got I've got a Skaven Doom wheel, which isn't unpainted. Yeah, it's always like ah, oh, I've put it together. <sighs> ah, I'm gonna do something else now <laughs> because <laughs> cause you get to that bit. It's like oh, you put it together and then go yes, I got the spray. Right, base coat is brilliant. I'm 50% of the way to it being done. And then you leave it forever. One of my ship models started painting. And I, I got the hole done, you know, the red one at the bottom and everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I never finished it. And then when my mom was cleaning my room, she dropped it on the floor and broke. Aww. You just, that just proves you just can't get good help these days. Oh, this is cool. No, no jets uh, uh, in the air and is useless. But you forget, CR, that this is War Thunder, and AA is just as effective as AT. Some of them, yeah. Some of them are nasty. Yeah. I do have a model of the Yamato, which I still have to finish after four years. I still have to put all the 50 million AA guns on it. <laughs> That's cool. So you've got a company of armored fists to paint. Started it in 2007. Yeah, it's it's the idea is it's like you have them and then it's like I want to, but now I can't find the time because I just use it as an excuse because I'm too lazy. And then you do like one model and you're like, yeah, this is fucking cool. I'm so satisfied. And it's like, if I don't want to start the next one, oh, it's gonna take forever. I'll get around to it another day. And it's just a, a horrible. And that cycle. day never comes. That day never comes. Yeah. Us is Devin, I have uh, three mech scale dropships that need painting. Of course, I have about 200 mechs and combat vehicle miniatures that need painting. Well, yeah, I've got to say, I've got a load of mechs that, uh, that we haven't painted any of. I've painted a few, though. I, I painted um, a Hammerhands in a Torian colour scheme, which I was quite happy with. blow on the wood out of that so I can see if there's enemies behind it. You should have seen this. Three leopards trying to take out a fucking BMP2. <laughs> hey, those bumps are resistant. Fuck me. What do those... Apparently, artillery does strike twice on the same place. There's one in that building you usually sit in uh, to snipe from. It's a tan. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, uh, it's just past me. Fucking Wamas. Wama! Oh, yeah, it's back in there. one behind it as well. Well, I got the T-69 that came out. He was not paying attention to his surroundings. Attention to the I'll probably die doing this. <clears throat> ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> See, you're fine. Now, I'll die trying to do that. Got the breach. Moving across. 
Bon Sherry Dan, reload. You firing the missiles or the heat rounds? Heat rounds. Attention to the map. Hey, you know the I gotta admit, right, one of the weirdest things about uh, we get having this uh, valve index down here. It's the fucking smell that the stuff has on it. It just permeates the entire room. It's so odd. Can't kill him. I'm coming around the corner. They just 50 killed my gunner. There's a second one in there. Yeah, they're inside the, the factory, are they? Yeah, that's the one I shot, and then there's the one further at the wall, near A. Should be somewhere oh, there in that building. Oh, shit. The what the fuck killed you? A spudge. With a uh, high explosive. Then he got killed straight after. <laughs> Somebody cover me in oil! Oh, so sorry, Devin. I'm considering someday maybe commissioning the artist who did the Hammer Hands 2C for Operation Lancaster to do a mini of the design. Uh, he did a number of the clan invasion miniatures and associated arts, so he obviously knows his shit. That would be cool to see. Yesterday I was idly tooling around with the idea of different, um, different variants of the, um, of the Hammer Hands. So it's sort of like, you know, you just base it around hammers, so it'd be like the sledgehammer would be one that would be modified to carry bigger uh, guns in each arm, like AC-20s or something stupid like that. Uh, the, uh, the claw hammer or something like that, which would just be one that uses, like, smaller caliber, like Ultra 5s or something. Variation on a theme, you know? The lump hammer, yeah. They'd just be the nicknames, of course, but, yeah. Oh, that was weird. What? I pressed the button to fire the missile, and then I died, so it just almost it was like the missile killed me. <laughs> I hit oh. the squeak, and then boom. Did it boom. The gla glass hammer. <laughs> oh, it's, I was just about to mark him. Fuck. At least I could have had that. Oh, fuck, this thing doesn't have a stabilizer. God damn it. Yeah, that AKV, IKV is coming right along the middle there, the, the main road ahead of you. Well, there's a Jeparin in front of me, so... <clears throat> and he killed him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just friendly aircraft up at the moment, okay. Shit, ton of enemy AA, apparently. Uh, could uh, most certainly be done. Frontal does have his own special variant with the Hammer Hands 2C in Lancaster. That's true, yeah. Everyone's favourite, the Ban Hammer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mech that holds 20 Gauss rifles. <laughs> Hammer Hands is a great mech uh, from that. Uh, it's, it's one that I don't think would ever get added to a computer game, unfortunately. Unless it was through mods. But it, it's kind of like a, a spin-off design of the Warhammer. It's it looks really cool. It did look a bit similar, yeah. Yeah, it has similar looks. Um, it carries an AC-10 in each arm instead of PPCs. Um, it, it's one of those designs that ended up becoming more common in the sort of periphery states afterwards, when um, other versions of the Warhammer sort of became more common. Uh, the other one I like is the Battle Axe, but that's also another Warhammer derivative that will probably never get a look in um, on the computer game front. There is a tank really close here. Think I can hear oh, I see him. <coughs> he's, he's in there. Oh, he's inside the building. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear his engine. I can hear him moving around.
Yeah, he's moving along now. He's going to your snipey spot. Oh, Leopard A A1, A1. Oh, it's not going to go well. Oh, we got him. It was a Wumma! Wumma! Uh, I'm going to see if I can decap the point. It's not that many of them left. Oh, it's okay. They're decapping it now. Uh, let me know if you've seen the aircraft up. this guy in chat talking about? Uh, Sturmpanzer eats Amogus because Oh, there's a helicopter. Man. Helicopter, both of us spawn normally is. There's also a plane as well. Uh, yes, see the helicopter. Filling the sky with lead. Over there, make him think twice. Oh shit. Plane is low. Damn it. Fights are so low to the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Missile incoming. Ah! Oh. Please tell me I got the plane, though. I shot his... Oh, was it his wing? It looked like his tail. Yeah, it's an MI4 AV. Hey, RK okay, Phoenix, how you doing? Uh... We are winning at the moment. I'm not sure how long that'll last. Depends on how resistant this helicopter is. Currently... <laughs> got shot down by a Panzer 38! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Fuck, you shot me. T-72? What the fuck? What's what, going on? What BR are we at? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Was I was he, gonna ask. Was he the only member of their team that had that BR? What the fuck? Do 50 cals sound like that, by the way, chat? If anyone's ever heard on fire? That kind of popping kind of sound? Is that right? Did I complete uh, MW5 DLC thing? I'll just see if it was uh, no, actually, me and Fron, the bro, and Davros have been playing quite a lot of MechWarrior 5 because we're going to do a group discussion sort of review of it uh, afterwards, uh, which we're going to make I'm going to make a video of. Because we've been, do the, we've been doing the uh, Pokey Hero Mech. Yeah, we've been doing all the Hero Mech stuff at the moment. But, yeah, because uh, I, I feel if, if I do another video where I, can't, I talk about the DLC and, and where the game is after a year and a bit, I think some will just dismiss me as just being, oh, you just like in the first place, uh, you start giving it a first shot, uh, you always just like, uh, goodbye. And uh, I think if it's um, a group of us talking about it uh, in a you know more relaxed, kind of casual nature about the things we do like and dislike about it, I think it'd be more fair. Because there are things to like about MechWarrior 5. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks, Gulsh. Yeah, send me that video. About the 50 cal firing. Um, but there's also... There is a fair amount of criticism that can be given to it. Because, again... Just like MWO... It's not a bad game. It just could be so much better. They went with the good old... It's okay. Yeah, it'll do. 
it's basically you. Would you recommend buying it? Um, as a solo experience, no. I, I think you'd agree with that, Fron, yeah? Yes. <laughs> On your own, it's not great. With If you have a couple other people you can play it with, Phoenix, yeah, it's worth it. Because you can wring a certain amount of enjoyment out of it with, with a, a couple of friends. Um, as a solo experience, it's, I don't know, it's just a, it gets boring quick. Very boring quick. Watch out with the friends you play, though, because I have lost my archer a few times. Yeah, I mean, we have to admit, sometimes we, we have costs from a few million sea bills in repairs alone. But, you know, <laughs> can't all be perfect. I still don't think the game is worth the money. The DLC is definitely not worth the price. No, the Heroes of the Innisfere DLC is not great. I think one of the, the thing that irks me the most about the entire thing is the fact that th they didn't even bother to put in a, s a single new mech. <laughs> the leopard behind the rattle went still just went forward, pushed him into my missile. Oh, oh fucking hell. I don't know where that leopard is up there, but I uh, can't go up that. That's that's death sentence. Yes, or Davros the... stealing every PPC. Yeah, Davros has got a huge hard on for PPC theft. Well, he modified the any to not be in any. <clears throat> well, yeah, but he does that regularly. Yeah, that that grinds my gears. Can I just take this off the Mac? No, because it's not the Mac. Stop messing with perfection. But it's a charger. It's perfect the way it is. <laughs> it was meant to just have small lasers, you pleb. Oh, if you play the game, though, definitely mod it. Yes. By default, it is the biggest balance bullshit there is. Well, even modded, we've had occasions where the, the balance is just a shit. Yes, the AI will always have aim assist. When they target your side torso, they will hit that side torso no matter how you torso twist. Yeah. Buddy joined your channel. There's a buddy. This must be Varak. What are you doing? I'm homesick, so I thought I'd drop by. Hello there, Varak. Hello. No, as, uh, to go back to what uh, From was saying, yeah. Um, one of the biggest problems is that if the AI decree it, it shall be so. Essentially, if it decides, oh, I'm going to shoot your left torso, you will get hit, regardless of how you twist the mech. It's it's a foregone conclusion. The game pretty much predetermines where the enemy will hit you and go from there. Yeah, basically it rolls a die. It, it rolls like a, um, a, a d10, and if it hits between 6 and 10, it will hit your head. Yeah, th that happens annoyingly often as well. You'll get a light mech that runs past you, strafes you, and hits everything perfectly on the head. I had a locust that was running past, just constantly machine gunning my head. Perfectly. Yeah. I think his phone is going. Jesus Christ, right? Hey. Is that your new ringtone? Hello, hello. Oh. Hey. I'm a little Rack. Rack. Rack, we can hear your phone call. I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> Yeah, Welcome to the Vrak phone call. Bork, 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 Yes, nej men det är bra. Då kör jag på som vanligt, annars så får ju jag ta dem över telefonen helt enkelt. Det, det, jag får ju vara med då. Oh, oh, I got one of the words. I got one of the words. Gött. Nej men bra. Somewhere in Sweden, nej, nej. A, 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 like a desk is assembling itself. Ja, det gör vi. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Varak! Varak! What? We could hear the entire phone call. Oh, for fuck's sake. We just heard you all speak in Borgen Borgen. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. What <laughs> the to, hell? to quote Hang the on. chat, a Robo Prancer, Bork Bork, Naman said less heavy breathing than I expected. Devin says, Hurdy Birdy Curdy Lurdy Bork Bork Bork. <laughs> <laughs> we know! <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> we know! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, uh, we're having issues at work, so I'm having to have fun uh, calls. We know! <laughs> 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 we heard everything! Oh. We're gonna get. We, un we, we understood one word, but. Um... Yeah, we, I understood telephone. Um... Okay. Oh, and yes, so two words. Oh, yes, yeah, so oh, okay. there's yes okay. as well. What's this, Mother Potato? Somewhere in Sweden, some meatballs are committing war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm a designated safety inspector, and I've stopped certain parts of work. So now there's a mad scramble down no. there to what? sort this out. It's right there. It's a Luperdo. <coughs> oh, on that little ramp. Eh. Yeah, he's on the right. Oh, he's the one who fucking got me and another guy earlier. So basically, my entire workplace is throwing a hissy fit at the moment. Which is good, then I'm homesick and I don't have to be there to uh, see that his fit. Right, so basically, you created a massive fucking shitstorm, and now you're conveniently at home while they have to sort all the problem out. <laughs> no, they call me that. Oh, no, there goes there's the phone again. A porky bork bork. <laughs> er, bork bork? <laughs> oh, the Swedish version of hello. Yes, ETG is right. It works better on models than co-op. Definitely co-op. Yeah. But we'll, we'll try and cover as much as this as, as we can when we do discussion. I'm calling the endpoint when we finally get a night start and I get to play a couple of missions in it. And that's why I'm saying that we've probably run as much as we need to. Because getting that night star is a pain in the ass. This apparently is very rare. Ow. Oh, you cunt. Ow. Ow. A warrior. Yeah. The warrior on the bridge. Or something else as well, I think. What the fuck? The warrior didn't even look like a warrior. It was weird. It changed <coughs> its spots. When the weight came up the bridge, it looked like a T series from the Russians. Yeah, I suppose the turret does have some similarity, with all the bits sticking up of it. Well, I am resigned to the AA duty. Attention to the map. Attention to the map. I see it's one of those matches where it's like, wait, what happened to the team? Yes, the uh, the team had decided to evaporate, and uh, the other team decided to stick around to see how it goes. Repairing. Repairing. Well, game. Uh, I could try and put more pressure on the enemy, but uh, here's the thing, uh, we need more players to do that. If you could just bring some replacements in, um, some FNGs, uh, we might be able to uh, actually, you know, do something with that. Otherwise, shut the fuck up, game. The enemy's winning! Hey, Fran. The best one I like is the, we lost the advantage. Which advantage? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, by the way, at the moment, what aircraft are you in? Uh, Mine's British at the moment. German. All oh, right. Shit's dying over there. Well, a plane just spawned and I could hear an engine nearby. Well, I'm next to you. No, no, I know your engine. This sounded a bit more like lawnmower-ish. Oh, there's multiple aircraft. Ooh, what the what fuck? What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Shit, I lost that plane I was tracking. Alright, fuck you and your aircraft. Fuck you, warrior. Oh, there was another plane flying around, but I don't know where it went. Oh, there he is. Ah! Uh, 
No. How can Lead Storm not succeed? Fucking oh, fucking pressure mechanics are bullshit. Still German. Oh, yep, still British. <laughs> Uh, you spawning again or back to hangar? I probably won't live long. Well, we can go back to hangar if you want, because I'm dead as well. Yeah, I might as well. <coughs> Okie dokie. Well, I'm in British aircraft still, and you're in... Deutschland planes. Oh, not battle. Fuck game. I'm not even back in the. What the fuck? How can you go battle? <laughs> At the end screen, it says uh, battle on or something. I wasn't even uh, out, out of the match yet. Uh, I accidentally clicked it. It's the wrath. Uh, let's see. Wow, you, you're gonna love my BR. Um, <laughs> so I am at three point seven. Three point three, three point seven. But I really don't know if I want to take a Wellington Mark Ten. <laughs> It's very early days for that Wellington Mark 10. Um, so I could take a Spitfire Mark 5B, or I can take a Bowfighter Mark 21. Uh, which of these two actually have more done on them? Okay, arguably it's the Bowfighter. Oh good, I, I can have Torpedo. <laughs> for fuck's sake. You know what, I'm just gonna take the Spitfire. Gotcha. I gotta do this. The oh. Junkers with the uh, extra um, machine gun parts. <laughs> Sorry, what was this you said, Devin? Oh, something kind of random that you might get a bit of a kick out of. Much excitement for Saturday, getting a couple of really high-quality third-party Transformers figures that I ordered back in February. Masterpiece scale, Transmetal Cheetor, and Ravage, Beast Wars version. They match their screen appearances pretty much perfect. Yeah, I have to agree with Naman, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Beast Wars. <laughs> we know. Yeah, yeah. Truck, not monkey. I was not. I was not around. Monkey. For that yeah, I know. Uh, Ravage. Yeah, but he, he won't look like Ravage. Ravage, will he? Like when, like a cat that turns into a cassette. It's not proper Ravage. Rumble frenzy. Ravage. Ramjet. Mm. Eject. Funky wolf or you? Funky wolf. Yeah, we'll blah. Well, you'll be happy anyway, Devin, because they just announced a, a new, what was it, a live-action film is going to be uh, called Rise of the Beasts, and the new uh, season of the Netflix series is uh, basically Beast Wars again. So, I mean, you, you got that to look forward to. I've got another horrible raping of my childhood in live-action form, and then I've got that shit to also uh, plague Netflix. Have you not Have you not seen this? Did I enjoy Ended the Power of the Primes? Uh, I didn't see it, no. Oh, thanks, uh, Kulsh. Yeah, no worries. No, no, it'd be interesting to see the, the 50 cal firing. Could be worse, could be Headmasters. Alright, head, Headmasters had its faults, but at least it at least it won't talk, turn into fucking gorillas and shit. Alright, there was there is that one, there is that Decepticon in Headmasters who is a gorilla, and there is the one that turns into a crocodile, and the one that turns into a, into a vampire bat. But, the rest of them will turn to cars and stuff. Like, six shot. Or the... The the weirdest one. I, I still don't understand how that worked. Hey runner. Uh what was his name? Uh Punch and Counter Punch. The two characters that made the least fucking sense. He's an Autobot whose alt mode is a Decepticon version of himself. The fuck? It doesn't turn into a vehicle, and apparently the Decepticons have never quite figured out that whenever counter punch is around, punch seems to turn up very shortly afterwards. Dinobots they were dinosaurs, and they were the only ones. Plus, at least they actually fit the fucking, you know, not taking into, like, cheetahs and spiders and stupid shit like that. Also, leave the Dinobots alone, yeah. Grim Grimlock King. Grimlock led the fucking Lightning Strike Coalition. He had a crown of, uh, uh so he had a, a crown and a fucking throne made of Decepticon skulls. And that's hardcore. Oh, well, yeah, Grimlock, uh, he was brutal. Before his, uh, his his processing power got diminished. 
I wonder, will it actually put us together? I think it's having some trouble. Uh, give it a few, give it a little while on it and cancel it if it gets too far. I'll just switch over to the German aircraft. Gemurmans. Yeah, Gemurmans. Ethel Gemurmans. He's got such a stupid name, Cheetor. I mean, come on, it sounds like he's from fucking He-Man or some shit. <laughs> Tell Swoop good part now. Tell Swoop good part. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Beryllium Baloney. Well, you don't see any games being made about the Beast Wars, do you? No, but you do see games being made about the fucking G1 shit. Damn, I wish High Moon Studios could have made that third game. Why did they have to make Deadpool? Oh, there we go. Actually, no, the Japanese didn't tell them originally to make up all that. It's um, it was Hasbro who bought the rights off all the Japanese uh, toy companies, and they created the names of the characters and stuff. I mean, all, uh, it's kind of annoying that Japan kind of takes all this credit for all of the stuff with Transformers. In reality, they did very little other than making the toys. They didn't have the names of the factions, the planet, the background, the character names, you know. But then Japan's all over like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we made Transformers. No, you fucking didn't. It was Hasbro. <laughs> Hasbro. Did, they, yeah, they did all the work. Why does that cloud like an insane wall? Because it is front. That's what we're attacking. If we don't destroy that wall, it'll destroy everything. Oh god, you're high up. I'm in a duel. <laughs> Haribo were one. better at their creator side. Yeah, the uh, kids and grown-ups love it so. The happy world of Haribo. <laughs> Master156, having a clue what you're talking about. Just a scam to sell to... How is it a scam? They made a cartoon and they sold toys to kids. I mean, that's not a scam. The scam would be, they made the cartoon and told you the toys were there. <laughs> and then, then they weren't available or something. Oh, the Japanese series are fucking horrendous, ETG. Yeah, I've seen a few. They, they made me sick to my core. The fuck was up with those people? I mean, at least Beast Wars is a mistake that was at least was made by the fucking American side of it. But hey, you know, Beast Wars is, is popular for some reason, and as I said, there's a new, the new live action film's going to involve them, and the there's a, the third season of the. Well, if it's Canadian, that explains it better, then doesn't it, Devin? You know what they're going to say? They'll say sorry, not sorry. Sorry, put that in. <laughs> I'm so flying so high, my wonderful flying machine. BTD. Uh, what altitude you at? Although they're going to asking you in. Uh, you're, you're, I'm in feet, and you're not. I'm almost a four, uh, almost a four kilometer height. Very slowly. Damn it, convert to my system. <laughs> oh, I, fuck you. I don't know what that is. I know what it is. I know feet. I'm nearly, I'm six and a half thousand feet. How many feet was in a meter? Three? I don't know. Don't ask the I guy. Was, I, I think it was average. Three feet a meter. I suffer an issue with numbers. I don't know how to convert and remember that shit. I had to check three times yesterday in my Steam support ticket what version of the NVIDIA graphics card drivers I was running. Because I had to keep opening and closing it until I was going... <laughs> Seven, four, point, what again? Open, 11. Went to type, number went out my head. That's open again. I think I'm, about, I'm uh, uh, roughly 12,000 feet. Well, can you see that B7? Yes, I'm heading towards him. Okay. I don't think I can catch up to him because, well, Junkers aren't really known for the speed. 
If it's Canadian, would there be a moose war a moose beast? <laughs> you know, I think there might be. Come back, B7. A doorway in the UK is two meters two, which is six foot six. How can I make that calculation at 8,900 feet? It's like, okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm about 700 doorways high. I don't know. Oh, come on. The Americans already have feet and everything, so that measurement wouldn't be weird. Um, this door's about six eagles. Yeah, but we use we use feet over here for, for measurement of, like, your height and stuff. That's because England is weird. We it's already knew. No, we because we want to, you know, make everyone feel... You know, included in, and happy, so we have some from one side and some from the other. Um, for some weird reason, there's a lot of fighters up here. Yeah, you're in you're in deep shit. Uh, I wish I could help, but you're like seven clicks away from me. Oh, you fucked him up. Fucking die! <laughs> Turn the engine off. <laughs> there's an A6M5 and a B51 chasing your burning rack. Oh, my gunner, my, my rear gunner is dead. Well, I can still fly this plane. Perfectly fine. The enemy is hey, the fire went out. I don't think that helps. So, going to the game, you're dead. Well, I can... Oh, hold on. Come on, wiggle. No, no, wrong wiggle. Come on, wiggle back. Woo. So some planes can just fly without a, with, with one wing, wing missing for some reason, but this thing is just a brick. As you said, it is a Junkers. Well, true. I'll take the kill assist. Oh, reading out. Hey, Rocco, is the measurement for distance in the UK, is that kilometers as well, or...? Uh, miles. Oh, this miles. Which, which of the uh, metric system do you use? Uh, you'd have to ask me the measurement and I could tell you whether it's miles or feet or... Uh, do you use liters? Yes. Oh. Kilograms? Uh, yes for some things. Sounds very confusing. I don't know, it just says what it is. These 303 sound very wanky. Well, you say that the Russians don't have much ammo for the 20 mils, but neither do the British for some reason. Uh, mate, I guess this version of it was just a bit... ...shit out of luck when it came to its uh, ammo. <laughs> Got a hole in your right wing. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. Sorry, I've still got my control surfaces, so I should be like, that's coming for me, like, but... Wep! Wep! Wep, you saucy beast! I need to open the map to see where the fucking thing is, but I also have to keep pressing left to stop myself from rolling over. <laughs> well, you know what this, what this calls for? Belly land! What?! How?! How did I friendly fire him?! What?! That makes no sense, I didn't even hit a P-39 on our team. How did I get a TK game? What the fuck is this shit? Oh, as, uh, as Varg says, it's kilogram for stuff, uh, pounds and stone for people. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, as ETG says, we used a special blend of metric, imperial and some of us. I said we want to make everyone feel included, okay? No wonder the EU just went, ah, I'm, I'm glad they're gone. 
I didn't want to go from the EU. I wanted to stay. Well, I think a lot of people realise that now. Yeah, a bit late for it, though, isn't it? Robo Prince says, Ooga Booga, use rock to measure people. <laughs> this will be fine. This will be okay, this will be fine. If you measure in stone, what's the size of the stone? No, not that ca we, don't, we don't measure people in stone. That's that's how we do, do weight. That's what I said. That's not a measure... Well... That's not high speed. Apparently for Spitfire it's high speed. It's 170 miles an hour, it's fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, level out, level out, level out, level out, level out. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So it's the trickiest part just before you hit the ground. It's just like, do I lose lift on the right side that I still have, or...? Just tap the brake, tap the brake, tap the brake, tap the brake, tap the brake. Okay. Whew. Uh, oh, and as Devin point, points out, weight is a measurement. Yes, I know that now. I realized it when I said it, but still. Maybe the piece of my wing fell off and hit the P-38. You know what? It could have, yeah. That would have been amazing to watch, though. <laughs> this is friendly, <laughs> this is friendly <laughs> fly, fly, flying fast. Oh, it's a nice day. <laughs> oh, shit. What was the button to turn off the engine again? Uh, it should be I by default, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's just to shut it the fuck up. Uh, yes, I have 120 cannon rounds. For two guns? Yeah. The Russians have 120 for one gun. I'm at 156. Devros does the conversion for us normally. Yeah, that's true. He normally does. Oh shit, I'm the last guy. Uh oh. <laughs> it's always funny when Devros goes, it's a bit chilly out here today. It's like 26 degrees. Is it what? what? Yeah, yeah, 26 Celsius. We're like, what? No, that, that's warm. What are you talking about? That's hot. Devils in winter clothing, just yeah. like 32 degrees outside. Yeah, I'll save the replay so I can go back through that. I have no idea though how that game got it. ETG says, but the EU's broke, so leaving it is the only way to fix it. Although, with the way the EU's fixated on us, I don't see a fix coming anytime soon. Yeah, it's a strange relationship we have. It's almost like we shouldn't have just fucking left in the first place. I think it would just kept things simple. But oh well. There he is. There's another one closer to me, because I can hear his engine. Behind you. <coughs> He's right behind. Oh. oh, that was very close. He's going on lead. Oh, this BA7 really got aim. Oh shit, it's my. Nope, put the flaps back up. All right, well, uh, base AA. <laughs> ah, fuck. Must be very toasty in there now. Oh yeah, it's very toasty. Oh, thanks game, thanks for telling me I have a hole in my left wing. I'm on fire, but okay. Oh, well, back to Americans for me, I believe. Uh, same. B-51. Yeah. Oh, was that B-51 that killed me in the end? 
Hmm. You have to. Oh, Let's <coughs> check the battle log. Uh, yeah, Devin, that is pretty much it. Yeah, we want Brexit, we want Brexit. Yay, we got it. What, what actually is it? Yeah, the, pretty much. Most people. Yay, I got a decal. Uh, I guess we'll call this, uh, what the fuck TK. Oh, I can't have, I can't have question marks or, uh, or exclamation points. And I lost 11,000 slions because game decided I TK'd, but okay. Uh, right. USA. USA. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, uh, I, I'd almost forgotten he was here. He got lost in the phone. It's okay if I go 9 0 for this one. Yeah, go on. It's fine. Bring your M3A3. Bring balance. <laughs> I mean, Varak is still here. It's just he's, he's been gone for so long due to all of his phone calls. It's not so much a day off for him at home, then, is it? It's just going to get phoned all day. Uh, I think he also forgot to push the talks back on or something. Uh, I think he would have realized it by now, because if he, if he was saying stuff and we weren't responding. Well, if it's like Davros, that could take a while. Oh, yeah, that day when it was like, Davros, Davros, you're muted, Davros. <laughs> it was so funny. Davros! Davros, you're muted! Davros! <laughs> you can see the thing lighting up, but <laughs> we can't hear him. Davros! <laughs> when the EU is run by three countries that hate each other and two of them have the most animosity start being pally, it changes how it works. Oh, I got the wrong spawn. Okay. <clears throat> I'll see you in the middle! Probably won't. We'll be firing missiles over people. I'll see you missiles in the middle! Oh, hello, bro. Hello, bro. Uh, what's up, sir? Nothing. I've been stood here behind you, watching and listening for a few minutes. A few minutes? All oh, right. Okay. That's, that's not creepy. Oh, the completely useless PCIe thing arrived. Right. Okay. Alongside the crisis box. Have a look at the boxy one. I haven't, I haven't taken him out yet, sir. So. All right. I'll pick up the box. Oh God. Oh, there you go. There's his. Oh, his, his, his back and his oh, knees are fine. Oh. Yeah, so I picked up the box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Oh. Mysterio and Carnage. Yep, yep, yep. Lizard and Craven. Eddie Lizard, yeah, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And Black Kit. And Black, Black Kit. And Black Kit. It's a Black Kit. It's a Black Kit. It's a Black Kit. Oh no, the man's in the chat. He's gonna say, "What what accent are you doing?" And we're gonna be like trying to do a stereotype South African accent, and he's gonna be like, "You sound really stupid." Yeah. And he's gonna be right. He's gonna be right about that. Oh, see you, Totty. Have a good day at work, mate. Bye, Totty. Oh, my bridge was destroyed. <laughs> How are you, what, you're already engaged in combat? What the fuck's going on over there? It's this side of the map. It's just missile heaven over here. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And a cheaty cunt on the other side that just instantly knows the range we're at. It's the uh, very resistant Object 120 once again. I'll just put it back on the floor. Alright. There you go, just, yeah, just, uh, just stretch those muscles. Okay, I'll put it back on the floor. Nice. Oh, actually, can you just, can you just, uh, can you just pick it up again for a sec, for a sec? Okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh no, actually, I already know what's in it. Yeah, you can put it back down now, it's fine, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, no, I did want to check. Can you get that again? Sorry, I I do remember. Again? <laughs> there, there, again? <laughs> there was something in there, but I, you know, I forgot what it was. If, if you, okay. oh, I'm busy doing this. Look. Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I look, I can't, right. I, I can't physically reach. So, got, really stretch for it. Oh yeah, 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 they are all in there. That's great. Okay, so you pull that down now. <laughs> Why are you crying? No reason. No reason. Okay. Well, the, you should probably just stop. There's, there's no reason to cry. Don't give the chat what they want. I think the people here sound so, uh, stupid, so you ought to be spot on. <laughs> That's what the man says. <laughs> I balanced the T10. 
No, no, not don't don't talk about townships, bro. Okay. Stop it, stop it. It's it a long time ago. Got a over here. You got a, you got a blick kit? Yeah, you have. You have actually you do have a blick kit. A little sooty. We didn't pick the name, by the way. The 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 crazy cat lady in um. Yeah, they're rescue cats. So. Yeah. So she was already called Sooty. I don't know what we would have called her thinking about it otherwise. I often joke that her name should be Midnight. She was born on Wings of Darkness. Her name is Midnight. I named it after my drow mage. Oh shit. That's the worst place to get out. Oh god, now I'm on fire. Lupid! Lupid, I'll distract him! <laughs> Can you repair for- no, no, the Lupid's- Lupid's fucked now. Run! Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I think that's my own artillery hitting me. I do like the fact that the enemy tank wasn't even rendered in the replay for the shot. Yeah, it does that sometimes. It's a bit strange. Obviously he's in the smoke, apparently. He just got hit by a fucking arty shell, like, spot on. Ow, 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 oh, got, got killed by a Jill Dando. Oh, with his insane fire rate. Yeah, it's pretty good fire rate. Mortal Belly, Jill Dando. What's that, man? Look, let a client go the other day because he wouldn't... Because of the Boer War? Seriously? He wouldn't speak to you directly because of the Boer War. That's fucking mental. That's what Naman just said. I did tell him I wasn't in that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I, I fully understand your position, but unfortunately, I wasn't in the ball war. Yeah, cool, shit, right. Drop all on me. It was. It's been a lovely fucking war here. Yeah. Yes, Fox is for real. I mean, there's holding a grudge, and then there's holding a grudge. You couldn't be alive to have held in the first place. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, people won't talk to me because of World War Two. Why? What did the Dutch do that was so uh, horrific during the war? I don't know. <laughs> We were there, I guess. <laughs> uh, I will only speak to people from nations that weren't uh, weren't occupied by the Nazis. I'm sorry, but you uh, you do not uh, count. I will not speak to you. Some people need a high five in the face with a chair. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> Devin. Very uh, very late nineties WWE. Oh, he hits him with a sickening chair shot. And at this point in time, we have no fear of, uh, of what concussions can do and not, no real uh, understanding of the long-term medical effects until Chris Benoit goes fucking ape and murders his family and then kills himself. <laughs> Did you just shoot me? Over you. That was fucking terrifying. I thought the Jill Dando was firing at me then. <laughs> ah. It's not scary now. It's like it's like the first time you play Dead by Daylight. It's fucking terrifying, and you're giddy with it all, and you're like, hee hee hee, oh shit, ah, yeah. You know, and then about three games in, you're like, oh fuck this unbalanced piece of shit, fucking killer. Oh, I hate this. All oh, these maps are so fucking unbalanced. Oh, it's like, oh, it's impossible to get away once he sees you. Fuck this game. That, you know, like. so Sounds I, very familiar. Well, it's. I think it, it happens with all horror games, doesn't it? It starts off kind of spooky, creepy, and you're, you're being all careful. And then about halfway through, you're like, nah, nah, it's just a horror game. Oh, oh there he is. Let's go. Uh, yep, yep, yep. There. Oh, he's walking past. <clears throat> oh, I hit the mouse accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first time uh, I remember playing Resi 2. I was like, oh, oh shit, oh, zombies, oh fuck. And about halfway through, I had machine guns and grenade launchers and stuff like that, and then it was it was more of an action game and less horror. 
There, was, there wasn't as much survival involved in the horror. Just mainly just became a logistics game. It was just kind of, okay, uh, how much ammo do I need to kill this monster? Okay, well, um, I'll just... I'll use the shotgun for this monster, then I'll switch to the pistol for that monster. And I'll keep all of the good weapons for the end boss fight. There we go. Yeah, it's I think... Most you... Oh, go on. It's the most survival game. It's in the beginning, it's like, ooh, enemy, uh, and then it's like, oh, there he is, bang, bang, yeah. bang, bang, oh, got what I want. Go. I, I think Devin's right, though. He says here, it's all about exposure time. Play it too long and it loses its charm. And, yeah, I think, yeah, that is pretty much the trouble a lot of um, horror games have. I remember Dead Space it was freaking me the fuck out when I first saw it, I, and I, I was... I couldn't play it originally, so I had asked the bro to play it on his computer, and I watched him play a good chunk, and I thought, I've seen enough now, I think I'll play it myself. I got a copy, and yeah, again, about halfway through, it was more about the just micromanagement of my ammunition and equipment, and less about the horror. I think you've explained the way to play all RE games. Yeah, sadly, I think that's the case. I think Varek got irradiated by his phone. <laughs> Those microwaves got him a long time ago. He's online in Warthen, or the... Well, he's going to be disappointed, because 15 minutes we end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking phone calls, man. I was just, uh, you said earlier, cool. uh, speaking of the Benoit, no pun intended, I've got some photos in that book with Nancy, and a photo of Paul Heyman and Jim Cornette teeing off in the ring. <laughs> Are they still doing TLC matches? Uh, yes, they are, uh, Pete, yeah. Goober needs to do Dead by Daylight with his VR. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff Goober could do with his VR, but he won't. It's just... As the joke goes with me in front, who's Goober? We don't s You'll play it as long as, uh, as, long as it's uh, VR chats or Pavlov. I think if Dead by Daylight announced a VR upgrade or, or like a VR edition, he would probably get it and play it. What's this called? First time I played Resi 2, I got so far that even the guy who owned it was getting scared. <laughs> It was like those moments in Resi 2 where you, you, you're on the streets and you haven't got much ammo and the zombies everywhere and you're just trying to avoid them. I mean, that that's the that's the horror element of it. That was close. Yep, okay, back up. I dropped artillery on B. Oh my Ooh. god, front... Ooh. How they didn't hit you, I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. I have no idea what they're all firing at, but I'm just putting rounds down the range. Hey! Hey! You didn't even have to aim, because the missile just goes off by proximity. I destroyed the barrel on another tank. I can just stand here firing missiles constantly. Like where reloading. I just fired, where I just fired, uh, there's, a, there's a tank. Uh, he's immobilized. It's behind the... Uh... Oh, I got him. It's all right. Oh, uh, that's probably the one I got the barrel from earlier. Uh, is this XM1 just being an unlucky fucking prick or what? Constantly backing up in front of me. Or are you just in the way? No, I'm not in the way at all. What? Oh, fucking XM1 death aid on my missile. The guy has a oh. problem, I'll say that much. Uh, I don't want to be warning anyone, but um, the street's empty. That one. The street we're looking down or the one on the right? The one on the right. Uh, well, you stay there, because your missiles will do a better job at keeping them 
uh, harassed. I'll go with the XM1 and see what's going on. Oh, fire. I'm off. <laughs> VL salt slowly transforming Goober. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, this is for back under the shitstorm. Yeah. Hmm. Waiting to be dragged back in. Yep. I've been playing Battlegroup VR a lot this week. Oh, have you? Have you? Yes. Awesome, yes, I can't go past campaign mission 7. Oh, is it broken? I have to destroy a command ship that's uh, powered down with like a whole fleet around it. You have to kill the command ship and then leave, basically. Oh, okay. They always beeline for my flagship the second I engage. <laughs> so they kill you before you can uh, acquire it. Ooh. Damn it. Yeah, I really like Gunner loader. VR. Got him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's this cover you talking about? <laughs> oh, uh, from have you run into the bug where you can't exit from the uh, windscreen? Uh, no. Oh, that's weird. You mean the one after you finish the mission, that you get like yeah, the yeah. Uh, the pilot and everything on the top right? That's the next mission button. Yeah, there's one around the corner. Go, 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 go. There's two. There's two. Oh, I'm dead. I'm um, thinking more of the uh, the score. So you say it says continue below the scoreboard. The missile didn't kill him. There's two of them there, so I think oh, that's the main problem. Set the leopard on fire and he put it out. Uh, anyone who's a bit more tech savvy, after usually after the stream, I'll restart the computer. Uh, just because uh, I guess it just needs maybe a bit of refresh. Is that really necessary, or should it just be fine to run it for the rest of the day after streaming? Does anyone know that in the should, chat? Should be fine. Yeah. This shouldn't be fine. What'd you say, Varek? It shouldn't be fine. Oh, it should be fine. That's what I heard as well. <laughs> oh, it should be fine. The uh, <laughs> Turm Steel was heading into that uh, right there. Well, I scouted something down there. I think that's the Leopard. Yeah, I think he's just hanging on the corner there. That's the Turms. Oh, it's the Turms that I marked. Okay. Uh, yeah, I shot the engine. What? <clears throat> he fired before my tank was beh from uh, behind the fucking vehicle. His engine's out and he smokes. He's on the corner with premium. the leopard. Oh. Yeah, hit him with an ATGM, killed a crew member. Leopard is slightly to his left. Yeah, I can see him marked on the map now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus, the shillelagh missiles in this thing take ages to reload. Ow. Uh, I've taken minor turret damage. They're both good for uh, a, a bombing run, though. Ah. Oh, my bomb went through the ground. Terms is moving off. G91 coming in. Got the leopard. Yeah, the terms moved off to the left. No, oh, too steep. Alright, Terms is dead. I don't know if I saw another vehicle or not, but it might have been a wreck. We'll find out. Gotta do something, right? There was a bump from A heading towards B as well.
I assume not a friendly bomb. Nope. You know, a lot of planes, though. Well, I'll neutralize B for now. So I assume those guys who just died will be respawning and coming back. I gotta try and listen out for listen out for an engine. <laughs> the Dutchman's natural environment, hugging the ground as close as possible. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All Dutchmen like dirt. That's why they keep making more of it. Oh, sorry, it was a martyr that I had. I thought it was a bump. The top-down view looked like it was a bump. It is fairly new, so it's probably still a little difficult to identify, so... Ah, it's a tiger. Ah! Oh, they have a G91. Of course they do. I wonder if the game is going to let me respawn. No, not the friendly. I'll lock onto him. Why would I lock onto the friendly? Stupid game. I just saw an M48 Super. Yeah, I think he's hanging around A. There's a G91 chasing a G91, which I think may be being chased by a G91. I just got shot through a building! <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like G91s. Uh, I think the friendly plane shot my track off with a missile. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, the M48 just fired through several brick walls and just destroyed my breach. Needle rounds? Yeah, but it shouldn't even go through these this much of a uh, brick wall. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I honestly think we've got the worst pilots in those planes, because I haven't seen any of them kill a vehicle yet, and I've heard them fire missiles left, right, and center. The last ground kill by friendly was that Terms. Are you saying that I might be better than, than them at planes in ground VR? <laughs> well, on these ones, probably yes. In this match, yeah, there's a good chance. Oh, there's a, there's a bump too, as well. Oof. Oh, uh, oh, they finally got him. The Bump 2 has shot down the G91 and the A4E. Oh, well, the helicopter killed him, which is weird. Yeah, the thing that you thought would have been more easily killed by the Bump. Uh, right, well, we're about to we're about to hit the hour mark anyway, so uh, probably uh, end it there, I think. It's a couple of hours. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah, we'll end it there. Plus, I, I started it a little early just uh, to sort of plug plug the squadron. Hey, since we're here, uh, if you're if you play War Thunder casually and you want to earn some squadron vehicles, I make an application to CWN, the Can Be Not Squadron. You can work your way towards some of the uh, some of the wonderful vehicles that we have in the game. Which is like the M901, as we call it, the Wally. Wally. It can poke this over the top of a hill and fire missiles, and you don't have to worry about your hull being exposed. More than normal. Or a Polish version of a leopard. <laughs> <laughs> or a Bump 2M. Does Britain have a ground squadron vehicle? No, I think it's a plane. It's a plane. It's a plane. Firecrest, I think. I don't know if China does now. And don't forget the Japanese Shimakaze that they fixed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the IGN Shimakaze. Now with all of its guns. Yeah, now with three turrets instead of two. And many more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
let's uh, let's just bring up the names sir thank you uh, to everybody who joined I have no idea what we're streaming tomorrow uh, at the moment uh, I suppose one thing to ask is Varak are you on for tomorrow's stream no no okay uh, it could be Mech 5 we'll, we'll find out we'll see how it goes but until then uh, thank you all for joining hope you had a, had fun with that we haven't done War Thunder stream for a little bit uh, but thank you to uh, Mighty Kulsh, Alvatar, another TV viewer, Antoni Yastrob, uh, BFG, uh, Skymaster, Carbon, Command Roots, uh, ETG, Grado987, Kantari Star, Mass156, Naman, uh, Ryan, Trevor Christie, Rob, Robo Prancer, Rogue Girl, uh, Sad Girl, Sephiroth, uh, Shadow the 89, so like, no, Shadow 89, Stu Lu, Samitha, Tom Toms, uh, Two Days, VK, Vigo Pros, I'm sure a couple of people there, uh, Totti was in there as well at some point. And uh, I know we had a, a couple of uh, people who popped in and out, like Runner and the such. So thank you everybody for hopping on in. And uh, yeah, thanks for for joining and uh, for Ak for for no giving us that <laughs> giving us that <laughs> tiny that that tiny insight into your life <laughs> in in uh, native Swedish. It was great. Yay! <laughs> I contributed. <laughs> all right, have a good one, all. Thanks again. Oh, and Yobbo, nice. Uh, thanks, for, thank you also to Yobbo for joining earlier on. So. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you all next time. Have a good week, everybody. And, uh, yeah, maybe see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, Bye. <laughs> Devin, his internet died. <laughs> see ya.